All right, so this is a Pales Rails exercise for shoulder external rotation. What we're trying to do here is increase the range of motion in our shoulder through this direction, which is external rotation. And by doing so with this exercise, not only are we trying to improve range of motion, but we're also trying to improve strength at the range that we're trying to acquire. So for this setup, I like to use a, a stick. Um, you can use a solid PVC pipe or a broomstick at home. Uh, just make sure you're on something kind of soft, a soft surface. And I'm going to turn sideways just so you can see. Um, I like to have my opposite leg up and I'm going to be working my, my left arm. So I'm going to take the stick and I'm going to snake my arm around. So I'm going to go with my arm on the outside of the stick and then I'm going to grab the back of the stick like so. So it's really important in this position to feel the stretch. You want to make sure your, your elbow or your, your arm is parallel to the floor right through here. I don't want my elbow pointing forward. I actually want my elbow pointing to the side away from me. So I'm going to open this up and my chest is facing straight ahead and my elbow is facing away. So it's, it's pretty much a 90 degree angle of where my arm and my chest is lining. Also, I want to make sure that I, I brace my uh, core because I don't want to gain motion from my low back. As you see, if I if I start to arch my back, I can get more range from my shoulder, but it's not actually range from my shoulder, it's, it's range coming from my low back. So make sure that you're keeping your back in, in, uh, neutral by uh, tightening up your abs. So from this position here, I'm going to try to find where I feel the stretch. So for me, I'm gonna take the stick and I'm just gonna inch it forward a little bit more until I feel a nice stretch in my shoulder. It shouldn't be painful, it should just be a nice stretch. We're gonna hold this for about two minutes, okay? At the two minute mark, what we're gonna do is we're gonna apply a force, a contraction into the stick. So I'm gonna be pushing my arm forward this direction and I should feel contraction and effort tissue in the front of the shoulder. So basically what I'm doing is I'm moving my shoulder this way, but there's no movement occurring because I'm blocking it with the stick. Now that's important because that's gonna help open up range in that shoulder. So I'm gonna push at 20% effort, and I'm gonna slowly ramp up that intensity as much as I can tolerate the five second increment hold. So I'm gonna push now 40% effort, hold that, I'm gonna push a little harder at 60% effort. Holding there, it gets a little hard to talk through it. I'm gonna push harder at 80% effort. So I'm just gonna hold at my 80 right now for 10 seconds. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to try to peel my arm back off the stick at 80% intensity. So I'm gonna to try to pull deeper into the stretch that direction, which is external rotation at 80% effort, and I'll hold that for 10 seconds. And then I'm gonna relax it, and I should be able to get a little bit more range of motion after I hold that stretch. So I have a tiny bit more range of motion. So that motion, that, that effort I was just doing, it will look, I'm basically going this direction, trying to peel that hand off the stick. And I should feel all the tissue in the back of my shoulder uh, working when I go this direction. So again, at first we just hold for two minutes, just a nice stretch. Then I'm pushing forward into the stick, increasing at 20% increments my intensity, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 if I can tolerate that. Hold that 100% intensity for 10 seconds, and then I'm gonna reverse it at 100% effort. I'm not progressing, I'm just going straight into 100% effort that direction feeling the contraction in the back of the shoulder, hold that for 10 seconds, and then I'm gonna relax, and then I'm gonna go into that new range of motion that I just acquired, and I'll stay there for uh, 30 seconds to a minute. When you come out of it, your arm might feel really tired and dead. So I recommend grabbing the stick with your opposite arm, bringing it up, and then just kind of sliding out of it closer because your arm, if you if you max out that contraction effort, uh, your arm's gonna feel really, really tired and kind of just almost like it's dead. 
uh, move it around a little bit, get some blood flow, it'll feel much better. And then practice just moving your arm through range of motion. You should feel a lot looser afterwards. Um, so give that a try and thanks for watching.